Hey everybody, Cody here with another Proto Tech Tip. And today we're going to talk about the difference between a miter flange and a standard flange. So, when designing in sheet metal, a miter flange is a bend that is pulled off with edges that are non-perpendicular to the bend. In contrast to this, a standard flange would be a bend that is pulled off that is perpendicular. Because of the angle of the edges of these miter flanges, when bending them up, they will fall into the bottom dive or bending machine and may not fully bend over. This will typically result in what we call flared corners. They may curl up slightly away from the sheet metal and are not very visually appealing. Depending on how severe the angle of the edge is, it may actually result in throwing off the accuracy or tolerance of the bend itself. So, what should you do instead? Here at Protocase, we recommend pulling flanges off in a more straighter manner. What this does is it gives the material continuity across the bend, so when it is pressed into the bottom die, it does not fall in or slip. It will result in a nice straight bend with no flaring or curling on the sides. Miter flanges may look appealing when designing in CAD software due to their angled sides, but they do not represent what will actually occur during the bending of the metal. In real life, the end result of a miter flange is flared corners that just don't look great visually. If you are designing sheet metal within a program such as SOLIDWORKS, you are able to actually edit the sketch profile of these bends and pull them off in a straight manner. If you are submitting designs that contain miter flanges, we will typically change them to a straight flange and send them back to you for your approval before manufacturing your design. So, keep this tip in mind when designing your next custom enclosures or parts with Protocase. I hope you found this tip helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.